Okay, we're going to sing One Small Voice again. And the reason I like to sing this song is because each person, if we do the right thing, can make a difference. And we need to, one voice joins another voice, joins another voice, and soon our, the world will be hearing us. And we need to make a voice right now about helping each other and being kind to everyone in the whole world. So this is called One Small Voice. And so when I teach it to the children, we have one person and then two people and three, and we keep joining till it's a whole class and they get the understanding of it. So I hope you will help me sing it as we go along. So here we go, One Small Voice. It's a beautiful song. And you know what, you can make a difference. I hope I made a difference in your life. With just one small voice Singing out a song With just one small voice Singing sweet and strong One by one we'll grow And together sing along and then soon, so come on, now the world will be sing. So I can hold hands with just one small voice, singing out a song. With just one small voice, singing sweet and strong, one by, come and join me. Jail grow, and together sing along. And then soon all the world will be singing. Okay, come again. Just one small voice singing out a song. With just one small voice singing sweet and strong. One by one they'll grow and together sing along. Come with me. And then soon all the world will be singing. And then soon all the world will be singing. So that song is about always being the voice of being kind and helping others. If you see someone being mean to somebody, you have to be that one small, strong voice saying, don't do that. That's not nice. You can't let people be mean to each other. That's not being good. So we all need to have a small voice and help each other. Okay, this next one is a funny one. Get ready. Oh. 
pull it off, pull it off. That's what you do. That's a funny song, isn't it? Okay, one more. This is Teddy Bear. You probably learned this when you're just a little one. This is just a variation of it. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. finish with love my teddy bear and our story is called love to be me and I met the author of this book her name was Sarah and she even signed her book she said choose love I try to choose love all the time and look at the beautiful hearts choose love love to be me this book is dedicated to you. You are enough. I love my hands. So you can count with your hands. Some people can read with their hands. You can hold hands. Look, this hand is a wooden hand because somebody had to make them a hand. And you can touch and greet with your hands. You can share with your hands. You can paint with your hands. You can build with your hands. And you can do sign language with your hands. Remember we did the sign language for the Mother's Day tea party. We used our hands to say beautiful and marvelous. We used our hands to sign. I love my tummy. I can laugh, digest my food, and nourish my body. So look, there's a baby in this mummy's tummy. Everybody's rubbing their belly. And when we eat, our food goes into our tummy to feed our bodies. And when you laugh, your tummy jiggles, doesn't it? <laughs> you can feel your tummy if you laugh. I love my head. I can think for myself. Imagine and wonder. So look at all the things these people are imagining. A rainbow, a tiger, the planets, a unicorn, a lion, music, math. Dinosaurs, spirals, painting, all the colors. No one can tell you what to think. Only you think for yourself. 
I love my mouth. So you can kiss grandma with your mouth. You can make music with your mouth. You can use words with your mouth. You can sing with your mouth. You can taste. I can taste, chew, and express how I feel. So these are the words, these are feelings. Safe, silly, excited, scared, lost, brave, nervous, happy. Look, you can even blow bubbles with your mouth. Your body is a wonderful thing. I love my nose. I can breathe in the many scents of nature. I discover the environment that I'm part of. So she's smelling flowers. Remember when we did Recycle Week, we talked about um, garbage is stinky. So our nose helps us say if it's somewhere to be around or somewhere to stay away from. Now look at this page, it has to go like this. I love my feet. I can gently leave my mark upon the earth. So you can see your footprints in the sand or in the snow. There's different feet. This person only has one foot, so he's got uh, walkers to help him walk. Barefoot. I love this book because it shows all kinds of people. Because we're all have a place in this world. I love my arms. I can reach out and embrace the world. Look, they're doing their arms for yoga. This boy is helping this girl because she's broken her arm. He's hugging a tree. She's hugging a doggy. She's hugging her grandma. Lots of you, when you came to my house, you liked, you played with um, Reggie and Arnie and you hugged them. I love my ears. I can listen mindfully. I dance to my own beat. So mindful means that when the teacher's talking, you're paying attention. He's showing you the shape of the outside of your ear. They're paying attention. He's playing the drum. He's playing a drum too. They're all playing drums and they're running. Oh, and you can hear the birds singing. It's beautiful to hear the birds. I love my eyes. Look at all the things you can see with your eyes. I can see the beauty in the world and in me. Did you know you're beautiful? Each and every one of you is beautiful. You need to look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, I am beautiful. Your eyes can tell you that. I love my legs. Some people, their legs don't work. So then they're in wheelchairs. And the wheelchairs are the legs for them. I can ground myself and go in the direction of my dreams. So your legs take you where you need to go. But you need to go where mom and dad tell you where to go to right now. You're too little to make your own legs go. You need to stay safe. I love my chest. It protects my heart. I can give and receive love. It protects my lungs. I can breathe in and out. So our heart is in our chest. Can you put your hands on your chest right now and breathe in and out? I bet you're calm right now listening to the story. Your heart should be very calm. I love my body for all it can do. I am grateful to be me. It's not what you look at that matters. It's what you see. That's written by a famous person called Henry David Thoreau. So I hope I see you with love. And I hope you, when you're looking at people, you see them with love. There's a saying, the glass can be half empty or half full. Let's make that glass half full. That's a better way to be. That's what love does. It sees the potential for things. So now I want you, before you uh, turn this off, after you turn this off, you're going to go get your All About Me book. I sent that home with you because we haven't finished uh, the three months, April, May, and June, and today we're going to do April. So go get your All About Me book and meet me at the art table.